They definitely were still hitting him even though they had him restrained. Police controversy in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Officers are filmed beating who they believed was a suspect in a hit and run. But it turns out the actual suspects were hiding in the bathroom at Applebee's. The incident has prompted protests against the department. Madeline O'Neill from our sister station in Milwaukee has the story. Site July 20th was enough for Applebee's employees to get out their phones and record as officers bring a customer to the ground, still holding his baby. Former Applebee's manager Jennifer Harris says she comforted the baby for about a half hour. It was just sad. They just felt bad for the baby. I'm the one who was screaming, get the baby, get the baby, over and over, because they were just being so violent with the child in his hands. Employee Hal Klibowitz says he took this video. We have a one-year-old as well, so it's very... It's really traumatizing. Yeah. Yeah. We really haven't gotten over it. Kenosha police say it started here at Highway 50 and Green Bay with a serious hit and run. And officers followed tips less than half a mile away to this Applebee's on their search for the suspects, but they got the wrong people. Kenosha police say officers were searching for two black males and one black female. And an Applebee's employee identified the man and the woman he was with as potentially suspicious. Kenosha police say the man tried to leave against officers' orders and resisted when they were restraining him. This video appears to show an officer hitting the man in the head. They definitely were still hitting him even though they had him restrained. Police say the man was charged with disorderly conduct, resisting and obstructing an officer. The woman he was with was arrested on the same charges. All while the people police say are responsible for the hit and run were later found in the Applebee's bathroom. The only people that should be getting charges are those officers. That's it. Protesters held a press conference Wednesday calling for transparency from police. Hang on, I'm just eating with my family. Harris says Applebee's fired her after videos like this got out. But she says she's happy people can see what happened. So I just really hope that he gets some justice. In Kenosha, Madeline O'Neill, Fox News. The Kenosha Police Department has launched an internal investigation after pressure from the community.